My name is Jim Rust. I'm the founder of Whirlwind Propellers Corporation, and we're here in Gillespie Field in San Diego, California. Probably in the early 90s, I had a Pitts aerobatic biplane, and I wanted a composite propeller that was made in Europe. It was very expensive. I figured I'd just make my own propeller. How hard could it be? So that's how it got started. We don't just make airplane propellers. We actually are very involved in aviation. So we're uh, racing a sport class gold airplane in Reno air races. Lap speeds of over 400 miles an hour. So we fly what we make. The competition in the marketplace really formed the direction of the company. It really started from manufacturing one wood propeller at a time by hand to now we're heavily involved in CAD CAM, CNC, changed quite a bit. In order to really meet the expectations and the, the quality and the performance of the product, you really need to embrace technology and that's from the design and all the way up to the manufacturing. The Intergrex was purchased primarily for a complete product line that we designed and developed. You know, we made the commitment, knowing what the capability of the Intergrex was, to go right from production prototypes to pre-production right into production with the Intergrex right at the beginning of the program. The Mazak Intergrex has been able to manufacture hub components in one operation, you know, saving three or four machines. It would virtually make it uncost effective trying to outsource large number of part numbers with relatively small production numbers. For the Mazak, once the programming and the tooling set up, we can run several part numbers in one day, small quantities on demand. Overall, the integration between our normal three-axis machines and the Intergrax has been you know, seamless. We can use a lot of the same tooling. Programming is, for the most part, identical. So the transition's been very easy. We look forward to continuing making high quality parts on time that meet or exceed our customers' expectations.